Hello, welcome back to episode 21, part 2 of Mind Trek Down. Uh, at the end of the last episode, um, well, the first part of this episode rather, uh, <laughs> clicked on the uh, reactor controller and it crashed. And everything I did up, well, for the last hour has been trying to figure out how to fix it. Finally, I just, out of frustration, I broke the block and replaced it and voila, problem solved. Anyways, here's the reactor. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, it's uh, you know it's a pretty average re reactor. It's putting out pretty good juice. It's really good for charging um, charging up these ultimate uh, energy cubes really fast, which is kind of what I want. So um, these tanks are getting pretty darn full. I'm gonna probably have to transfer them soon to a railcraft tank. Um, well, this one's getting low. No, she's coming up slowly. No, she's going down. Ooh. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I guess I'm not producing enough sulfur. Oh, that's right, because the um, I'm not getting a lot of sulfur in here, so I'm using it out of the tank here. Anyways, um, I'm going to set up another brine, another four brine towers, and have them dedicated to keeping a rail craft tank full of uh, brine, and then feed from the brine to this tank, uh, or from the rail craft tank to this tank, and then this tank will feed the uh, two systems the system, of course, and then the system on the other side. Um, again, uh, this is I used um, Akio the Builder's uh, mechanism spotlight to figure this stuff out, and I gonna I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and start figuring how to use mechanism uh, factories and stuff. Uh, it'll increase your processing speed of these. Um, but I'll do that off off recording on a creative world so that I could sort it out without having to break everything in here and then just come in and do the uh, modifications to this system or rip it all out and redo it. I don't know yet. Uh, I believe I mentioned that I went ahead and set all this up in the last episode. Like I said, it's been a while. It's been a good hour or so since uh, I started recording um, the first part of episode 21. Take out the ship real quick here um, before ending the this part of the, sh the show. I, I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with the nacelles yet. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead and cover them in iron, but they're not a priority at this point yet. So once I get the top part there all taken care of, um, we'll be good to go. I'll start working on the interior. Um, first thing I'm going to have to do is, of course, map everything out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put the reactor probably right here. And again, it'll probably be another 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven or 7x7x5. Seven by seven by I'm not sure yet. Uh, this will be a um, Jeffrey's tube access point. Uh, these will probably be set up to be like landing gear with another one or two up front here for support. Uh, you know, um, then of course it'll just be like setting up the, the corridor paths, rooms, and allocating areas for specific things for, you know, specific mods, factorization, um, farms, things like that, whatever I decide to put in here. Uh, it'll, it has about three decks. One, two, three, uh, four decks if you count this lower deck here. Uh, this is four tall because this will actually have a floor in it. So, yeah, and it'll extend from the engine room to the forward part here. And then it'll probably have an access ladder going up to the upper decks. So this will be the Jeffrey's tube access point or corridor path. Then we get to play with Bibliocraft, filling in all the rooms. Oh, the joyous, the joy. Um, that's pretty much all I've done. Like I said, I made a crap ton of uh, Mist Worlds. Most of them are garbage, and uh, I've been binned them. Um, I have an organic reactor, a mechanism organic reactor. It uses uh, pumpkin seeds as fuel, so using that is a supplement thing. I also planted some Growthcraft apple trees. These are pretty fun. They're really easy. You get an apple, and you just put like one apple in your one apple, and I put two there, and you take that, and you just, of course, throw it on the ground. No, 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 no. And you plant it. Um, and you plant it, and it turns into an apple tree. And these apples burn in the in the reactor as well, or the biofuel reactor, and they burn really well. I mean, I think it was just pumping them out. But when you're harvesting the apples, it's easy to knock leaves off. See you. Yeah, not good, not not fun. But I, as I said, I have two uh, mining ages going. 
Um, they're probably not going now since I just restarted the game after my final crash there and fix and whatnot. But um, I did post the information on the uh, Resonant Rise uh, tech forum part, so hopefully uh, it helps those guys. Um, it's just it seemed like an easy fix. It took me forever to figure out. You know, just break the block, replace the block. Um, I was afraid it was going to really corrupt the game and crash the game, so I did my backups and everything else, just just be on the safe side. And it turned out to be an easy fix. Uh, there is also another problem. I, I teleported over to the reactor uh, using my um, return feature, and it crashed me. So that I don't know if that's a problem or not. I should report that as well because it's repeatable. I'm not sure why it causes it, just does it. But I used my uh, Darkcraft uh, wand of return. And ironically, when it crashed, I lost the wand of return. So, <laughs> but, yep. Anyways, uh, show you this. I'm not sure if I showed the XP thing or not, but this is the XP uh, um, absorber, and it basically it feeds the system down here. And it's probably a repeat from last episode. I should have watched last episode, but I will harvest these while I'm down here. Um, it's not a I don't see really any major use for this system for me. Um, this is a disenchanter. It takes things off of stuff and puts them in books, mainly arm, uh, not armor, but uh, weapons. Um, this basically is used to do this and put onto medallions that you use to make books. And this is like an anvil. You take uh, books, a uh, book in a whatever and combines them together. Again, it only seems to work with weapons. And since my primary weapon is this thing, um, I really don't need, you know, don't see a need for that, So, because I cannot enchant, enchant this. Well, I could if I cheated it, but I'm not going to cheat it, so I don't need to. <clears throat> In addition, I also have uh, uh, Tinker's Construct tools, and or weapons and tools, so... But, oh yeah, you can also make copper ladders, I didn't know that, so I put those in here. This is quartz glass, um, it's going to be the windows. Because I think it's vibrant quartz glass. I'm not sure. If it's not vibrant, then i got to make it vibrant so it lights. It's self-light emitting. Um, this will be lights, internal light systems. And there are a lot more blocks I can use that I haven't even discovered yet with metallurgy. And these are, of course, new metallurgy bricks. I think I mentioned in the last episode. Probably didn't. Um, past that, not a lot else is going on. I do have a road that goes over to the village. Um, nice thing about this uh, electric jetpack or RF jetpack is it flies really fast. Um, it it doesn't hover very well, as I mentioned. It slowly, as you can see, I'm falling. Um, that's where the uh, mechanism um, rocket pack is really good, except that it's noisy. But it hovers precise, which is nice. And here are the desalination plants. As I said, I've got four of these. I'm going to build another f set of four, and they're going to feed uh, the largest railcraft tank I can make full, hopefully, of brine, and then from there I'll pump it into the system over there, and that'll help these things keep up, at least I hope, um, with the system. So I can expand the, uh, the mechanism system if it works out. I think this is just stained, yeah, it's just stained, stained white... Uh, leaves. Really not much else going on. I'll show you the... I can remember how it turns out. See. That's a portal over to that my nephew set up for me for uh, over to the um, village. It's, main, it's where he hangs out. That's at that village because I won't use it for anything other than um, if I can get in the ladder here. Uh, for brine production because it's in a desert. This is just for temporary little squid. Well, here's the mist world. These are the two uh, mining ages. And the rest of these are just kind of, you know, dark matter, two villages, or dark mining age, excuse me. Uh, tree, GM keep. Uh, these are those big, um, those really, really big uh, red, red, uh, redwood trees. I mean, big, I mean, huge redwood trees. I cut, actually cut one of them down for wood, 
and I got like three diamond chests worth of wood out of it. So yeah, they're pretty big trees. It took forever to cut it down too. I used the dark craft axe and uh, yeah, I started at the top and went to the next level down, then went to the next level down, then went to the next level down. Had to do it in sections. Um, this has Electrum Lakes. Uh, this is End Silver Keep uh, Liquid End Ender Liquid Ender. Um, the reactors run on Liquid Ender, but I don't need to worry about it because I have plenty of Ender Pearls now because I have two farms farming Ender Pearls. So I'm good to go there. This is an overworld. This is just a fast travel to the village. Uh, another way to fast travel to the village. This is my preferred way over using the um, portal downstairs. Um, this is the nether. I moved the nether aqueous accumulator, or excuse me, um, the, let me on here, cause I, I never can remember, Oop, that happens quite a lot, I lag and then fall to my death, this thing, uh, oh, it was originally over there, but for so when I updated to 2.8.3.3, resident arise main, that whole area chunk loaded, it, it, it had a chunk error, and all my stuff was lost, so I, had to go and get all my spare crap and bring it over here and put it in. And it's been here for quite a while and evidently um, I'm not using that much lava anymore because uh, yeah, it's not all filled in. <laughs> but if it needs to, it's got a huge lake down here. Um, yeah, there's the piggy guy. I got swarmed by pigmen and just about killed uh, and I don't know how I aggroed them, but I, evidently I aggroed them somehow. Those things will kill you fast, too. Um, here's the end. I don't see any reason to come back here too often. I fought the Ender Dragon. I'm not a fan of, uh, of um, hardcore expansion. I, I don't have that mod enabled. I don't like it. See, now they're, they're, they're looking at me kind of odd. Here's some more of that metallurgy stuff. Um, I'm not sure what it makes, but um, Exomite Ore. I've got a ton of it already, so... But um, yeah, all it does is make more pretty blocks, darker blocks and stuff. And I got some of my Ender Lilies from here and just brought them over to the overworld. I'll probably come in and plant a crap ton of them in here as well. Because they seem to grow really well in this environment. I wonder why. I haven't figured it out. But, um, well... I don't know if you all saw that or not, but uh, it looks like my malware detected an illegal intrusion. So I deal with it. Every now and then, um, I'm not sure what the deal is, but... Uh... Hi! Well, I'm not picking a fight. No, well, aha, uh -huh, you can't catch me. I'm up here now. Bite me. Yeah, I did kill the dragon. It was a battle. I kicked its ass. Literally. I didn't even have to destroy all the towers. I did. Whoa, hey, dude, stay away. I'm not talking to you. Stay. See, that's what happens when you screw with me. You get my tool. You know what? I don't like you guys. You're mean. You guys are mean. I didn't mark my uh, portal home. Derp. I gotta figure out where it's. Oh, well, you know, I don't need it. Because I have wherever the hell it is. The, there it is. Of course, this is going to take me back to our relocated spawn point, which I'm not a real big fan of. Seems to be. Huh? How about that? It did. It took me back to my bed this time. Usually, it takes me way to hell over there someplace. I have to come back all the way over here. But yeah, that's the that's the end, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, here's another bug. Every now and then when I come from another dimension, I come back and all my piping is still here, but you just can't see it. It's still present, but you can see I'm bouncing on it, but I can't. I, it's just, you just don't see it. And I, I should report this as a bug as well. Um, but yeah, it seems to be real prevalent. And I don't understand why, why the piping, and it, it affects both mechanism and thermal expansion. Um, it's really disturbing because uh, first time it happened, I th I thought I lost everything, but it doesn't seem to affect build craft, but it does affect uh, thermal expansion and mechanism pipes. So, well, 
I appreciate you watching and hope to see you in episode 22 where we're going to actually start interior work on the ship. Thanks for watching. Bye.